Oh God, here we go. So I know this is gonna get posted on YouTube later, so I'm gonna tell everybody what we're doing here. This is a live unboxing of the old Battletech Succession Wars box set. Uh, I've never held one of these in my hands before. I've only seen pictures of it online, things like that. So I don't know exactly what's gonna be in there, but I just got it here in the mail today. So we're gonna pop it open and see what she looks like. Got lucky I got this uh, for a pretty, pretty low price considering what it usually goes for. So I'm not gonna disclose what that price is uh, or who I got it from, but suffice it to say, I'm very grateful. And no, it's not Amazon. I did not get it from Amazon. <laughs> get rid of that crap. All right. Howdy, everybody. Remember, all the talking I'm doing is because we're live streaming. All right, so let's see what we got here. Let's get this. Now, this was made back in the early 80s. So we're going to see all that great, cheesy, early 80s Battletech art once we get in it. All right. There we go. Uh, first impression is this bad. This box has seen better days. <laughs> oh, well. All right. So let's sit that somewhere over here. Okay, there is a random D10 in here. I hope that sometime, at some point becomes useful. <laughs> All right, so what have we got here? We got some counters here. Let me pull some of these guys out. I have no idea. I have no clue how to play this game. So this is something we're going to find out, I guess. Oh, look. Let's see if I can get that up there. Subhash Indrihar. <laughs> he looks like Gandhi, <laughs> doesn't he? <laughs> uh, let's see here. Avian regulars. I know the, the resolution sucks because camera doesn't have time to focus, but here we got a Arcab Legion with some Draconis stuff for you. I have no idea what these are for. Let's see some of these other guys, what they look like here. Here we, we uh, have uh, Jaime Wolf. He looks like a very angry Owen Wilson. <laughs> he, he is not pleased. Uh, I don't know who shit is cornflakes, but uh, let's see here. Erskine Sorensen. No, Sorensen Sabres. Yeah, can't tell you who he looks like right off the top of my head. Ooh, the Night Stalkers. I don't know what the heck that's for, but that's kind of cool. Let's see better. Any other personalities in here I can make fun of? Oh, looks like we got our first proxy. All right. <laughs> That's fine. I'm sure I'll figure out a way to make it work. Today's episode is brought to you by the letter K for potassium, I guess. Uh, oh. Isoroku Korita. Not bad. I guess we'll find out later what that's all, all about. Oh, I see. It looks like each of these little baggies has, you know, Curita stuff in it. So I don't know what that Davian thing was doing. In there. All right. Let's get all that crap away. Dropped a couple, so. <laughs> Good thing I got hardwood floors. Blank. Oh, I missed this guy. Takashi Kirita. Kind of looks like Ricardo Montalban. <laughs> all right, I'll pick up that other one here in a second. So I suppose that all of these little baggies here are going to have something very similar. Uh, each each house will have have their own thing. What have I got here? Yeah, some Merrick stuff. Let's 
Archie McCarron. Who's this? Christopher Halas. I don't know who that is. He looks like he's having a good time. <laughs> uh, Adam asks, so why did you buy this? Well, I bought it because I never have owned one before. And it's just kind of one of those like collector's items amongst Battletech players. It, it's just kind of, I almost feel like it's one of those rite of passage kind of things where <laughs> you either have one or you don't. And it, it's no in between there. It's not like, oh, you get a little bit of it. You know how, like, some folks have a box set, but they only have, like, half of it? Let's see. Thaddeus Kusaka. I mean, he looks pissed. I don't know what his deal is. But here's, here's, uh, yeah, Christopher Halas. You know what he looks like? He looks like uh, William Shatner in the old Star Trek movies. And then on the other side, it has Carter Allison. Anyway. So I'm not going to open every single one of these because I, I think I get the gist of it. They're all various houses. So we got Steiner. Oh, oh, shit. Frederick Steiner. <laughs> you, you can see him right there. Frederick Steiner, otherwise known as Anastasia. At least ways I think. <laughs> oh, another D10. Oh, boy. Normally these things go for, you know, the, the cheapest one I've ever seen would, I've seen it go for 130 bucks, something like that. But I've never seen anything, anything less than a hundred dollars for this. And I picked it up for less than that. So I feel like I got a pretty good deal despite the box being <laughs> a little worn as it were. All right. What do I got here? Some cards. Oh, look. Let's see if we can't get this out. Got some Succession Wars cards here. What do they say on them? Spy. Trade cards with another player's hand. Blackmail. Ooh, I like this game already. Star League. Spy. Contract ends. Blackmail. Advanced technology level by five. Mm -hmm. That's kind of interesting. So I suppose this is kind of like... Car oh, Comstar. Lift house interdict. Maybe play it anytime. Well, that's interesting. This almost feels like it's like risk in space. So those are kind of cool. More house tokens. Money, money, money. Money. All right, we got oh, oh we got some some uh, big time dollarinos. Uh, let's see here. Comstar looks like 20 million. Gosh, that's a lot of C bills. Okay. Uh, 10 million Comstar series. 3024, it says right there. So it's like Monopoly money. <laughs> that's real interesting. Uh, there's a 5 million C bill note, I guess. And then a 1 million C bill note. Huh. All right, now for that cheesy 80s art. Yeah, that's what we all came here for, right? Yeah, I bought it just because it's just like, eh, I've wanted it for so long, and I've never had the opportunity to, to have one. So, Oh, look, a map. I bet you this is what you play the game on. Oh, man, this is huge. All of it on the screen here, but the succession war, war, war. Got some House Kirita action there. Oh, look at this! All they have up here is is the Bandit Kingdoms. That's it. I don't see any other periphery. No Rim Worlds. No Red Jack Ryan, Oberon. None of that crap. Got your Outworlds over here. House Davian. There's you know House Merrick here. House Steiner here. Got a little. Uh, insignias on them Let's see the lyron commonwealth has it got another side to it no it's blank on the other side so and then we have some kind of table over here who knows what that's for event cards though see right here i guess that's where those cards that i was just thumbing through go and then you have a little discard pile right there so huh 
not something you hang on your wall, I suppose. Okay, let's get to this guy. So here, boy, Katrina Steiner does not look pleased. <laughs> and uh, Takashi Kurita here, you know, the fox, Hans Davian. He looks very, he looks very regal, doesn't he? Not that I'm biased or anything. Uh, Jonas Merrick. We got Maximilian Lau. Yeah, so let's see what these guys look like here. Well, I got some, looks like an introduction and a little bit of history about the, the succession wars, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's see here. Uh, here's, I guess, the explanation on how to use all the little chits, cards, and things. Barbara Lau. Have a look at her. Looks almost like Liza Minnelli. John Z says, I have the same box, though. Mine is in much worse shape. Well, <laughs> hey, at least you got one, right? I mean, <laughs> I guess this was as close to complete as I could I could get. Some of these things are highlighted, so I'm going to have to go back over them later. And you know, look at these guys. Who knows what they're doing? They're plotting the, the great mustache meeting of 3025, I guess, because <laughs> they all have, like, crazy 70s porn stashes or ZZ Top beards. <laughs> Oh, I think it's cool too, Dean. Yeah, man. I just this is just something I've never had the ability to to go through here. A, a well loved copy. You can see somebody's written in the margins here. <laughs> oh, yep. That's all good. A well used copy means that it got you know a lot of play time and must have been a good enough game for those people who played it that often. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> All right. We got an aerospace fighter here. Picture. Let's see. First succession war scenario. Oh, I guess you can play more than one succession war. <laughs> Maybe. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, man. Look at that old, oldie time locust there. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Eh? He said, John says, mine is complete, and I even have notes on the starting economy on the back sheet. But my box is about to fall apart. Well, so is this one. <laughs> oh, all right. Looks like we're at the end here. But we got a neat little map of the inner sphere. And all those little dots are planets. <laughs> like, hey, I need my jeweler's glasses to go through those, eh? Yeah, good Lord, that's small. I'm not even going to be able to try. Oh, man, that's a cool-looking spider. No. Let's see here. Attack modifiers, Comstar interdiction table. Of course, they're going to screw around with everything. Tech level table. All kinds of neat stuff there. Well, we got some Lao counters here. Barbara Leo, Aaron Sandoval. I guess this is, yeah, Damien stuff. So I'll be looking into those. Anyway, and then we got the we got the Comstar stuff right there, of course. Got to have them. Well, this has been fun. I have no idea how to play this, so we're gonna find out hopefully in the next couple weeks and. Then maybe we'll actually stream us us playing the game. <laughs> so now that that geez. <laughs> doesn't look like it's going to happen. That's as good as it's going to get, I think. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for joining us here uh, again. We're on Patreon at www.patreon.com slash battlebound. We'll be doing a Tukayid campaign here very soon. Only the patrons will be able to see the Tukiid campaign, and we're going to use the new Catalyst Game Labs Tukiid source book. Uh, I'll be playing Jade Falcons, and I do believe that Taylor will be playing Comstar, so that's going to be kind of fun. And, of course, we got some other, you know, like behind the scenes or jokes and things like that that we got on there. So, like, even just a $5 patronage will get you looking at that campaign. So, yeah, if you could stop on by, help support it. By the time uh, May rolls around and we're ready to do episodes again, like traveling episodes again, we're really going to need that money so we can get out on the road 
things like that. But uh, I hope you've uh, enjoyed having a look see at this vintage Battletech box set here. And I greatly appreciate all of you joining us today. I'm Tuck Davian, and uh, I'm going to head on out. See you out on the space lanes, folks. All right.